I'm going to show you how to do question one from this quiz. Um, so the first thing you do is you want to define the vectors. Um, so 3, negative 9, and then b is um, negative 5, 4. You want to do this every time you're going to work with the vectors quite a bit. So 2a minus 3b. Um, the direction angle, I can just look at that and I know that it's going to be the uh, negative arc 10 of 30 over 21. So I'm just typing that to show you what I would put. Um, unit vectors orthogonal to B. Okay, so um, if I turn B into a unit vector, that's menu, and then 7, arrow up, unit vector, B. Um, gives me that. It rationalizes it, um, but that doesn't really matter. I think one of the vectors that I'm looking for is going to be, um, really I'm just kind of swapping these, so 4, and then the square root of um, 41. And then uh, what you want to do is change the sign of one of them, which uh, hopefully you have figured out the reason for that at this point. 41. Um, I want to check that. So menu, 7, to vector, dot product of b and this. I get 0, so that's correct. Once I know one unit vector, um, if I take this and I multiply by negative 1, I get a second, which I can check again, get rid of that one, replace it with that one, I get 0. So those are the answers. Uh, the next thing I want to do is find the exact value of the area. Well, I've done about a thousand of these now, and I've noticed that it is always the following, menu 7, 7, um, the norm of A, which is like the magnitude, not like it is, um, 7, 7, norm of B, and then the sine of the inverse cosine of the angle between them. It's really the sine. It's the sine of theta, and theta is the inverse cosine. So to do that, I need a dot product. Menu 7 up um, of A and B over, and then the magnitude B. And I get that answer. Um, let me see, what's the next question that I could fit conveniently here? Uh, question number five, determine all values of k such that the angle between the vectors is obtuse. Um, let me insert a new problem here because I'm doing a new problem. So insert problem, calculator. Uh, I need the dot product to be obtuse, so I'm, I'm going to do this uh, menu 3, 1 for solve, then menu 7, go up dot product of k plus 1 comma k plus 3 and get out of there new vector k plus 3 comma k minus 3 and then uh, I need the dot for it to be obtuse I need the dot product to be less than 0 and then I need to solve for k um, and that just gives me the answer that I'm looking for uh, if you don't have uh, a cache or whatever an option is, uh, let me just copy this dot product here and then uh, show you how I might do it if I didn't have a cache. Like that. Um, I need to change that so that k is actually equal to x. I'm going to store this as a function here. So I get that, it says done. I'm going to insert a graph page, go up, graph this. Now I can see this is, I'm actually graphing the dot product here, so I can see that it's negative between uh, these two x coordinates, um, so that tells me what I'm looking for. Uh, so that's question one and five, and maybe I'll make another video to answer uh, one or two of the others. All right.